Hello all, in this video, I will show you how to design this part using SOLIDWORKS. Here we have 2D drawing of the part and all the dimensions are in mm. If you observe this drawing, we have the total length, we have diameters, the diameter of this shaft is 20 mm, the diameter of this is 60 mm and the diameter of this is 800 mm. We also have a center line. We are going to consider this center line because this serves as axis of rotation for revolved boss or base. With respect to center line, we will consider this as upper half and this as the lower half and we are going to draw only one half and then use revolved boss or base feature to that half. So I'm going to go and create the upper half of the drawing in SOLIDWORKS. Let's create a new file. It's going to be part. Here we have design canvas. Let's go to sketch. But before going to sketch, as I already mentioned earlier, the units are in mm. So I'm going to go and change this to mmgs millimeter gram second. Now the units are in mm here. Let's go to sketch and I will use front plane for this. I'm going to draw a rough sketch of the upper half and later we can change the dimensions using smart dimension. So I'll select line. So here we have the rough sketch of this and uh, we can change dimensions now. But before doing that, I will add relations to this. To do that, click on one line and then press control, click on another line. And here we have add relations option. I'm going with equal. So this line and this line are equal. And this line and this line, they are equal. This line and this line are equal. This and this line are equal. Now this and this line are equal. Click OK. Now we added relations. We can change the dimensions. Go to smart dimension. Click on this and uh, this is going to be 10. Here we are not considering diameter as we are using only the upper half. We will use radius. The radius of this shaft is about 10 mm and for this it is 30 and for this it is 50. So this is 10 and here it is 80. If you observe this, when I change this dimension to 80, this also has changed because we added equal relation to these lines. This is 20. Here 10 is already gone so we have 20 remaining and this is 40. And again this is 20. And the last one this is gonna be 60. Click OK. Here the total length is 300. We have 80, 40 and 40, 80 which comes to 240. 300 minus 240 is 60 which is the length of this. So this is 60. We have the upper half but a center line is missing. So we will add a center line here. From this point to this point we will add a center line. Now this serves as axis of rotation for us. So I'm going to go and exit sketch and under features tab, I'll go with revolved boss or base. Now we have our part here. Click OK. So this is the part that we are talking about. If you want to have a look at the cross section of this, just click on the section view here and click OK. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned to the channel. Bye bye.